Hey Virgos, let's see what's coming up for you guys in the full moon. Cap coming up with the full moon in Capricorn, sorry. What message? I'm using the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. These are a little lengthy, so if you're not into lengthy messages, then just click off. Okay, what's coming up? What's the message for Virgo for the Capricorn full moon? Okay, so you've got three. <laughs> the perfection of your life. She feels she knows. Sacred fool. And then spirals of manifestation. Interesting. If you have Leo energy, I highly suggest you go watch the Leo one. That one also had manifestation themes present. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and read the message. I'm going to start by reading the 18 spirals of manifestation message. The creative rebellious path of love moves in spirals. It is not linear. Sometimes our mind decides that the way forward is to take clear steps from one point to the next logical point. However, there is a genius within that can guide us on an alternative route. If there is an unnecessary pothole or delay in the typical linear path of progression and the curved loop in the path will be quicker, more fun, and more beautiful, then why not allow yourself to be guided to that path? This can happen through trust and wisdom rather than a rigid adherence to what on the surface appears to be logical progression. You are in the midst of a spiral of manifestation. Something is coming into being, even if you think it is further away than ever before. How amazing it will seem when what you have been dreaming of falls into place. Suddenly, what you have been thinking of creating will plonk into your reality seemingly out of nowhere because it was just around the bend, just out of view in the spiral of manifestation, and you could not see it coming. In truth, it was coming to you all along. This oracle has a message for you. Sometimes when we, when we feel the furthest away from what we want, we are actually closer than ever before. Just one turn on the spiral loop of creation can see your manifestation taking root in the world. You must hold true to your faith and keep working on your progress. Forget about believing it when you are seeing it. Any old soul or young soul can do that. You are a bigger, braver, more ancient soul. You have enough chutzpah to believe it so that you can see it sooner, bigger and brighter. Do not give in to those who tell you it should have happened already or that you have failed. They are just suffering from a lack of patience and understanding, as well as an arrogant assumption that their notion of timing is somehow superior to the greater divine timing at play in life. Be in goodwill with yourself and the universe. All is unfolding perfectly, whether you feel it right now or not. This oracle also brings a message to you about the perfect synchronicities that are taking place in your life. You may have started to notice these already. When we live from the heart, honor our creative center, and choose unlikely but lovingly rebellious ways to be in the world, we will begin to notice synchronicity every day. It is as though the universe is speaking to us intimately on all matters, which of course it is. This oracle reminds you that there's no point rushing to the bus stop. If you're way too early, you are just wasting your time. Better to live your life at the more appropriate pace and get there at the right time. You don't need the anxiety that comes from rushing towards your destiny. Try not to worry quite so much about the future. You will attract what you want and need so much more enjoyably if you relax and deal with the here and now. Remember too that your life path is unfolding in harmony with the path of others. You will meet with each other for the greatest benefit when you trust in the flow of the one great creative spiral upon which this galaxy spins. Everything is ultimately in harmony and everything else to fulfill the great big creative intent of the supreme creative force of love. You are included in that. Lucky. So, <clears throat> spirals of manifestation. This is a great energy because most people think that manifestation progresses in a linear way. And sometimes it's actually spirals. I, another point I want to make about this is that also there are moments where we're, we feel like we're back to square one. And if you're looking at things from, you know, from a certain angle, it'll look like you came in a big circle back to where you started. But if you change the perspective and you look at it from a different angle, you'll see that you actually ascended to a higher place because now you have experience, right? I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but I did. So that may have something to do with your situation. Let's read number 30, Perfection of Your Life. Number 30 <clears throat> says, have you ever seen a storm pictured from above? It can appear to be so beautiful and elegant. This is certainly different to the ground view, which can be quite a violent experience. 
so too there is great beauty in your life right now. However, at this point in the natural process, you may be experiencing it as anxiety-inducing rather than beautiful. You may sense it as internal chaos. You may feel it as something that is waiting to erupt from within, as a restlessness or an anxiety that you cannot quite articulate but sense vaguely nonetheless. Perhaps the chaos is fully fledged and a person or situation in your life is causing all kinds of havoc, upheaval or change, and uncertainty in your world. Whether the chaos seems subtle, strong, internal or external, this oracle brings the same message for you. All is unfolding according to a perfect higher order. You are currently enduring a cosmic spiritual storm which is having an impact on you. It is clearing things out, ruffling feathers, and preparing you for that lovely, super fresh, uplifting feeling that one experiences after the storm has finally passed. If you have drawn the oracle of after the storm as well, this message is amplified for you. Even if you have not chosen that card, but feel intuitively drawn to read the message for it after the healing process below, you are encouraged to do so. If you cannot believe there is anything happening, even at a subtle level, because you feel stuck, denied, bored, thwarted, or stale, this oracle brings you a message also. No matter what appears to be, in truth, there is only the unfolding creative genius of the universe. You are not forgotten. You have not been looked over. You have not been denied, found wanting, or rejected as unworthy. The storm that needs to erupt is in your own heart. Do your liberating rain dance. Rage, weep, pray, dance, paint, or sing. Express whatever is needed, however is needed, to exercise the blocked energy in your heart. Then you will call on the powerful perfection of your life path as it aligns for the next creative turn of the spiral of life. Once again, you will trust and directly experience the flower of life unfolding within you and around you. So, so far, these two make me feel like you are going through something where you feel like you're really far away from what you're trying to manifest, when in reality, it's right around the corner, but there may be some difficult times that you are going through. And it's telling you, if this is a storm, you like you feel like you're in the middle of some sort of cosmic storm, just enjoy the storm. As crazy as it seems, as chaotic as it seems, you know that feeling that comes after the rain where everything is refreshed and just revitalized that's what you're going to go through so just trust in that okay and this is about your intuition so let's read that let's read number 22 <clears throat> number 22 she feels she knows an illumination is erupting from within you as a vision that is bringing what was once obscured into clarity this is not likely to happen as a blinding shocking insight but as more of a softer, gentler knowing. It is like knowing something without understanding exactly when or how you came to know it. This insight will assist you and you are asked to honor it. You will know which insight it is at the right time. Your heart will tell you. You are therefore being asked to rely upon the clarity that is coming to you now or has just recently come. Gently but firmly from that place of knowing, intend to act and take your next step forward. This oracle comes to you with guidance, particularly about long-range or long-term developments. Something that is far bigger than the immediate situation, issue, or moment is of importance, although you will only have a dim sense of that possibility at best. The situation you find yourself in right now may not be one of joy, but in time you will understand more of the bigger picture. You will come to see why things are happening as they are, and how you are being helped onto the next stage of your path, even though it may look like an obstacle right now. You are being asked to think in terms of long-term happiness. Sometimes this warrants change or even temporary restrictions in the short term. If you can't see how the present can possibly become what you sense the future to be, this message is especially relevant. Through the natural process of transformation, great leaps are indeed possible. You simply must be prepared to surrender into the process with absolute trust. This oracle brings you specific guidance. The situations in your current life are particularly geared towards a more significant manifestation that is coming to you according to your life path and purpose. This is a stage of preparation and of building a foundation that will hold you strong and centered as your creative journey unfolds and your life path becomes ever more brilliant and luminous. So keep plugging away, remain patient, but most of all, be hopeful and trust in the light you sense ahead of you, for it is the light that is within you, simply revealed more fully. And all that is happening now is happening to that end so again 
this just kind of added to the message, right? That there's difficulty um, and that right now you might not understand how it's all tying together to your manifestation, but you're being asked to trust, to look at the bigger picture, okay? And last but not least, Sacred Fool, number 40. The Fool is a great rebel, able to thwart convention and tell the truth without restraint. Your heart is a wonderful, powerful, sacred fool. It cares not for the right way to do things. It cares not for what the mind says is real and not real. It lives according to an inner wisdom that cannot be dictated to or controlled by anything. It loves, it lives, and it is what it is. This oracle heralds a time, now or imminent, when you will feel inspired, alive, and passionate for what you can offer to the world. It says to you, don't try to be appropriate. Don't try to be socially acceptable and worry about what others may think about what you are doing. Just be. If you want to wear a mad hat whilst doing so, fine. The sacred fool in you is willing to leave behind what has been because it no longer feels right to stay attached to it. The sacred fool in you trusts life completely. It would never occur to this part of you to try and outsmart life or resist its flow. It recognizes that the mind is a monkey puppet on strings. More often than not, it is cajoled into fear when it could be playfully dwelling in the radical spontaneity of life. So the sacred fool in you urges your mind to let itself be pulled into joy by your heartstrings, not into fear and doubt by the controlling machines of mass media. This oracle brings you a message. It's time for you to play. It's time for you to let life happen in a completely unreserved, unscripted way. The more bizarre, left of field, unexpected, and apparently ridiculous, the better. This might not feel safe or appropriate at first. That's okay. That's good, actually. It's a sign that you are breaking with your own self-imposed conventions. It's time to move beyond them now because a bigger life adventure is calling to you. This is wonderful news. It's the desire of life to operate more radically through you so that you become the conduit through which miracles and crazy wild synchronicity can occur. You are becoming more electric. You are more plugged into the apparent randomness of life. Apparent because there is a refined intelligence behind it all. The sacred fool goes with this without having to understand any of it, which is good. Trying to access even one genuine glimpse of life's unfathomable genius would probably make one's, heads, one's head explode. As you take this journey, you may find that people around you are challenged. You might unintentionally cause them to rethink the way they live their lives. They may question whether they, the way they are living is the only way for them or even the best way. At first, they may react rather than take responsibility. The sacred fool in you doesn't engage with this. It is what it is and it rises and falls as it will. It doesn't stop you from your merry dance of unconventional being. If you find yourself making choices that have others questioning your sanity, then you are right on course. You may feel that you are quite possibly going insane, but you are not crazy. You are just approaching enlightened awareness. There is a moment, sometimes a rather long one, when we wake up to life, shed our attachment to mass opinion, and float in a completely different state of being. We might find that no one is really able to understand or connect with us to the point that we question our state of mind. Stay with that. It will pass. You will eventually see that you are becoming sane in an insane world. The tables will turn and you will gain greater inner freedom and creative juice. Stay on your path. Stay on the journey. Remember to take nothing too seriously and it will all work out perfectly. So, embrace what's happening right now, Virgo. Um, give yourself time to play. Give yourself time to pull joy and happiness back into whatever it is that that's occurring at the moment as difficult as it may be even if you feel you're in the middle of some sort of storm um you're getting to a better place you just you've got to trust your inner knowing okay all right Virgo. that's what i've got for you um i just want to remind you guys i am doing the maharashi uh, effect meditation on the full moon if you guys want to join please make sure that you dm me or a comment let me letting me know um, if you want more details on what that entails, there is a video on my profile, which has the Maharashi effect tag on it. Uh, go watch that and let me know what you think. Bye guys.